Yes, people, how's it going? Welcome back to Lily White Lane. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're keeping safe and well. And in the words of the legendary Alan Partridge, hope you're having a ruddy good Monday morning and smashing beginning of your week. What are we going to be talking about today? We're going to be talking about Arn Slot, the former Feyenoord manager and Dutchman, wants to actually join Tottenham Hotspur. Yes, a decent manager in the world of football wants to join this shambles of a club. I was as surprised as you guys are hearing this, but look, before we get into that, I think it's only right to start off with the disgusting scenes that we saw yesterday, and it needs to be sorted out. It really does need to be sorted out. If you guys don't know what I'm referring to, I'm talking about Vinicius Jr. yesterday. There was a game between Valencia and Real Madrid in Spain, and Vinicius Jr., not for the first time, experienced masses of racist abuse. You know, racist abuse directed towards him from a couple of the Valencia players. Racist abuse directed towards him from pretty much the whole ground. And look, racism still exists pretty much everywhere in the world. We still get it, you know, here in England, but nowhere near as bad as Spain, right? The last racist incident I can think about in the Premier League was two weeks ago when we played Crystal Palace and that, you know, fan was giving Hyung Min Sun racist abuse. That was clamped down on straight away. That fan's now been banned. But that was one fan. Don't get me wrong, it's still terrible and it's still completely immoral and wrong, but that was one fan. You're getting a whole stadium in Spain, a whole stadium chanting monkey at a black player. It's it, it's disgusting. And I don't understand how it hasn't been clamped down on by La Liga. And it isn't the first time it's happened to Vinicius Jr. Atletico Madrid fans early this season gathering outside the Wanda uh, Metropolitano, giving racist abuse and dishing it out to him. You know, when he was on international duty with Brazil, Richarlison also got it, but Vinicius, you know, had bananas chucked at him from fans. It's so wrong, it's so immoral, and I don't understand how it's still so rife in other places in Europe. You know, we still get it, like I say, in this country, but it has been clamped down on has been clamped down and you get one or two incidents maybe every couple of months in the Premier League. You probably get hundreds in the Liga and yesterday, what, thousands, thousands, over 20,000 fans chanting monkey at a black player. It's, it's so backward and it's so wrong and I feel for the guy, man. He's 22 years old. He's such a bright footballer. He's got such a bright football, you know, future ahead of him. Yet he's receiving racist abuse week in, week out and getting sent off for sticking up for himself. You know, Wankers, absolute wankers, those those Valencia fans. But will they be banned? Probably not, because what Valencia are going to do? Ban their whole stadium. They should, they should, but it probably won't. And this stuff, it still gets to go ahead. And it is, it is you, you know, it angers me. Like I'm sure it does other fans, because, you know, a fantastic, phenomenal young player is being discriminated week in, week out because of the colour of his skin. It's so backward and it needs to be it needs to be sorted out. It really does need to be sorted out. I feel for uh, Vinicius. I think I speak for the whole football world when I say we stand with him. Genuinely, we do. And this has got to be clamped down on by La Liga. For football as a whole, you know, people might be like, why are you talking about Real Madrid Valencia on a Spurs video? Because this affects football as a whole and racist abuse. It's still very rife in places when it shouldn't be. When it really shouldn't be. But look... I wanted to get that out of the way. Let's talk Tottenham now. Let's actually... I was about to say, let's let, let's talk about positive things, but what's positive to talk about with this shit show of a club right now? Week in, week out, this team is producing a shower of pygmy hippo shit on the field. It's a good thing we've only got 90 more minutes. But, look, Arn Slot, we're hearing from many Dutch sources, many English sources, that Arn Slot is very, very interested in the Tottenham Hotspur job. We're hearing that Spurs also had positive talks with Slot. And over the last week, he has been the favourite to join Tottenham Hotspur. My message to Daniel Levy and Enoch. If you want him, go after him. It's not rocket science, right? Let me give you an analogy. Let's say I go clubbing, right? And I see a pretty girl in the corner who I want to go over and talk to. But I don't. I just stand there for four hours. Let's say I just stand there for four hours when I'm thinking she looks really nice. But I'm not going to go over and talk to her. I'm going to stand there for four hours. Four hours later, another bloke comes along, starts chatting to her, and they walk off together. And then I'm angry. That's basically Spurs. You know, I'm angry when I've had four hours, when I've had the opportunity to go for her, but I haven't. I haven't. Why? You know, 
That's the analogy I'm using for this. Tottenham Hotspur had the exact same situation with Julian Nagelsmann. We had an opportunity to go for him, you know, but we didn't. We didn't. We don't want him. What's the point? If you want a manager, go in for them. Go in for them, you know. It, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating to see, okay, Tottenham Hotspur like Onslaught. Onslaught wants to join Tottenham Hotspur. Why are we not, like, properly talking to this guy? Why are we not getting it done now? I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. If we want to bring the guy in, right, and Onslaught wants to join us and the guy wants to join us, why are we properly not going in for him? We're just standing there going, oh, yeah, yeah, interesting. Like that analogy, oh, yeah, she looks nice. She looks all right. If you're interested, do something about it. Take some action. Do you know what I mean? You know, we want Onslaught. Go in for the guy, Tottenham. Go in for the guy right now if he wants to join us. But no, for no reason, we're going to slow this process down. We probably won't end up appointing him until two weeks before the season because Daniel Levy, the stupid donkey, mini-me-looking clown, runs this club and doesn't know what he's doing. It's really frustrating. If you like the guy, bring him in. If you like the guy, bring him in. If he wants to join us. But look, those, those are the reports we're hearing. I've given you my thoughts and opinions on it. Onslaught does want to join Tottenham Hotspur. But, but he does look like the man who is the favourite right now. He is the favourite right now, you know. The odds are uh, the odds are, are going for him right now in terms of who's going to be the next Spurs manager. You know, Nagelsmann and Poch, they were up there, but it looks like Pochettino is going to Chelsea or Real Madrid if they decide to snub that with uh, with Ancelotti leaving at the end of the season. And uh, Nagelsmann, you know, as much as he's fully available in the market, it seems like Spurs don't want him. So it looks like Onslaught is most likely to be the next manager. But I just want it done quickly then. Okay, you want Onslaught as the next manager, bring him in in the next couple of weeks. Therefore, you know, he's got the whole summer to bring in the players that he wants. If you wait and stall and stall and stall, one, another club might, you know, come in and take him away if he's our top target, which he is, which would just be stupid to do. And two, you're giving him less time to plan for the summer and plan for next season and the players he wants to bring in. So Spurs, if you want Onslaught, Bring him in now. Why hesitate? There is no reason to. Look, those are my thoughts and opinions on that. Thank you for watching this video. Take care of yourselves. All the best. God bless. Have a fantastic and smashing week. I won't be uploading too much this week. Like I wasn't last week. You know, today I've got a day off. But I am sitting my GCSE exams right now. So I'm very busy revising. And actually taking the test. So... Look, content will be will be properly back in the summer. Trust me when I say that. I'll be uploading pretty much every day because I'll have 10 weeks, 10 weeks pretty much here. So what else am I going to do? But look, that's just to let you guys know why there, why there hasn't been that much content on the channel. That's why I've literally only been uploading one or two videos a week. But there will be a match reaction for Leeds next weekend. And uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully once the GCSEs are over, I can go back to uploading consistently and constantly every day for the summer transfer window. Summer transfer window is getting closer as well. We'll see you Spurs sign. We'll see you Spurs manager is. All we can do now is sit there and hope that Boldy McBold Bold actually sort something out. Thank you for watching this video. Take care. All the best. And as always, come on you Spurs. Enoch and Levy out. I nearly said in Conte we trust. I'll say you come on you Spurs. In Conte we trust. I did trust Conte and then, uh, and then we know what happened there. But look, come on you Spurs, Enoch and Levy out.